Hey everyone, it's Kelly Day coming to you live here from my art studio and I'm working on a big painting and today I wanted to share some personal story with you and I'm going to be a little vulnerable here which I'm going to be honest I'm not very good at and it makes me uncomfortable but I thought it might help you to hear a little bit about how I made my art life happen and I'm living uh, as an artist. So. For those of you who are thinking of making the shift to starting to make your art a bigger part of your life, or maybe it's really been nagging at you and you can't stop thinking about your art, but you don't know how to make it happen, um, listen up. Because there's a few key things here that I want to share with you today that help me. So when I was a graphic designer for a very long time, I was trying so hard in life, but nothing was flowing. Nothing was coming together easily. I was living paycheck to paycheck as a single mom for a decade and I couldn't figure out why my life wasn't flowing. It just felt really forced. I liked what I did, but I didn't love it and I was getting burnt out. My energy was feeling really dull, you know, like I loved my family, but I wasn't excited about my own life anymore. <clears throat> Have you ever felt that feeling where life feels a little blah? So I knew there had to be something more, and I'll be honest with you, that's the hardest thing to figure out. So if you know your thing is art, you're already halfway there. When I was younger, I knew I had creative art ability. I won several awards when I was in school, but I never knew it was going to come back to me in my 40s and become my whole life. Okay, so if I'm being honest, there was a couple of times in my young adult life where I felt so depressed, I wasn't sure if life was worth living. But in retrospect, those moments were my greatest gifts because that's how I made the decision that has been the guiding light for me for the rest of my life. I decided that if I was going to live this life, I might as well either do exactly what I wanted and live a life that was a life that I just loved or don't bother. I decided not to settle. I decided I wouldn't continue my job in a fiberglass manufacturing company as a graphic designer in a cubicle. I would only live my truest life. And that's the moment I quit my job and I moved to Sedona, Arizona and became a wilderness ranger. Every moment after that, has been in pursuit of my greatest life. So when my art resurfaced in my 40s, after 15 years of traveling and climbing around the world, I went for that too. I quickly realized that every moment and dollar I spent on my art dream was coming back to me tenfold. And I literally spent my last dollar as a single mom taking an art workshop that changed my life. So I learned that taking risks in the direction of your dream always pays off because it puts you in alignment with your heart. You are here to discover your purpose. If you're called to create and you're not fully doing that, then you're not fully living and you're feeling it. You'll feel it because you'll have those signs I talked about like lower energy, not feeling like life is as sparkly as you want but everything starts to come into alignment when you're following your purpose and what you love. Why? Because it fuels you, because your heart sings when you do it, because your energy is contagious and you bring happiness and inspiration to others when you're happily making your art. So when you're in your highest purpose, it flows out of you and it starts helping others as well. That's the really coolest, most fulfilling part. So life is a present of high energy, beauty and joy that we can open every day. But unfortunately, not, not, not many people know how to do that and open their art and come into alignment with their art life. And that's what I do. I know how to open women to start creating their greatest art because I did it too. So when you're willing and ready, I have the love and the support and the roadmap to get you there. So you don't have to take a decade to figure it out like I did. So if you're ready and willing, 
I can help you today. You can book an art breakthrough call with me like so many of the other women on my website who are having success with their art did. So we'll figure out what's holding you back, what you need to move forward, and if I can help you get there, I'll show you what that looks like. Please do not book a call with me if you are just looking for free information. These calls are only for women who are ready to commit to their art now and invest in themselves because I can't do it for you. You have to be willing and want it. And if that's you, I can help you get there. So I'd love to talk with you. If that's you, you can book an art breakthrough call at kellydayart.com forward slash booking. <clears throat> that's kelly with an I E dayart.com forward slash booking. And I'll look forward to talking with you. Have a beautiful Sunday. And leave me a message if this spoke to you in some way, <clears throat> if you had a similar experience. I've had a cold all week, so excuse me, but I'm going to go skiing now. So um, I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a beautiful, sunny day. Bye.